Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited, and here is your weekly technical analysis of New York and London sugar markets. I'll start with ice raw sugar in New York. The core of the bullish support here remains the lower tine of the December 2020 to April 2021 bullish shift pitchfork, currently at 1774. I have highlighted a whole pitchfork in blue so you can visualize the tines more clearly. Back in October, this lower tine caused the latest very prominent rise in the market, from the extraordinary vault face back up made two Mondays ago to last Friday's gapping higher move, closing with the highest high since early June. In the process, prices last week punched up and closed over. The long moving average, currently 1868, the last of the moving averages that, that were overhead. The April to date downtrend, currently 1877. The significant February 2021 high at 1894, and most recently the congestion at 1964. I previously highlighted the bull channel in red to help visualize this as well. Well, prices punched up and closed well over that through the upper bull channel line, currently at 1883. This now gives some potential targets topside for this pattern. Thus, we have an initial target X in the 1990 area, which isn't that far away to be honest, and a secondary harder reach target X1 in the 2020 area. An interesting feature about the about turn up last week was how we saw more than one bearish pattern being created and then being ignored. To be specific, we saw a two day side by side pattern, a two day tweezer top pattern and most recently on Friday a shooting star pattern, all of whom are inherently bearish and all of which have been ignored. The second gap on the way up is also interesting. Analysis of gaps in such circumstances usually indicates that they come in threes. The latest is the midway gap, thus we may well have an exhaustion gap up in the 2080 area should we manage to get that high. As it is, we are fairly close already to target X in the 1990 area, so it is time to start looking at potential resistances topside. Now the one that stands out is the middle time, currently 1999 of the previously mentioned December 2020 to April 2021 bullish shift pitchfork. Now this is a resistance, but it is flexible in that once breached it can turn into support. Looking higher, I think you'll have to look at the May high at 2024 and the April congestion at 2047, both of which sit within the January to February congestion between 2010 and 2100 as potentially where you're going to find some resistance. Ice Europe White Sugar in London. Since mid-September this market has been dominated by the one action, the changeover gap. One can say a lot of things about what happened beforehand but the changeover gap here on a continuous daily chart is really big. The action stretches from roughly the September 2016 high at 619 down to the 50% Fibonacci line of the July 2021 today action at 522.80 and the congestion seen in early 2017 at 517.80. The actual gap is from 541 even to 603.60 and there has been a number of attempts, initially tepid in September, but more active in October to try and fill it. However, the latest attempt higher this past week has made some great strides in filling in the gap. It started by pushing through and closing over the following. The long moving average, currently 541.60. The medium moving average, currently 548.5. The short medium moving average, currently 548.80. And the congestion come less of Fibonacci line at 548.80 as well. Then on Friday, the market gapped higher with a bullish opening white marabozo and closed over both the February 2017 high of 565 even and the super interesting neckline of the August to December 2021 complex head and shoulders top currently at 562. You see in some ways this neckline looks like a possible indicator of the angle of attack the bullish angle of attack so I would regard it as important. Additionally I'm minded to look at the action since changeover as possibly a type of double bottom Maybe it is just me, but that is how I currently perceive it. Thus, if we extend that look, we can have a primary target X for such a pattern, the 606.30 area, with a secondary harder to reach target um, uh, X1 in the 621.20 area. Now, to be honest, there really isn't a lot in the way at topside until the November 2016 high at 590 even. 
and that isn't that strong a resistance either. The better resistances start from 60270 upwards, which does allow the filling of the changeover gap after all. Sugar white premium spread. I've briefly spoken about a two, two big picture items seen here on this weekly chart. We have the recurring big old bullish Andrews pitchfork from 2019 to 2021, which is highlighted in blue, with the mar market currently between the lower time below, currently 79 and three quarters, and the middle time above, currently 153 and three quarters. Though it had been breached, it has since been mended, such that this pitchfork is still showing the bullish angle of attack. We also have an ascending expanding wedge pattern highlighted in red trend lines that has been formed since mid-April uh, and that's currently 142.5 to right off the top of my weekly chart. To me it was and is still not the best looking pattern I've ever seen of those but it's also still there and it comes with all the possibilities such a pattern can invoke. A sub point has been the monthly key reversal down we saw in September despite what has happened since which seems to justify this selection. Please still take this monthly key reversal with a huge pinch of salt as the earlier monthly key reversal down we saw in July did not work out so well. Nevertheless, it seems to be genuine. The most recent activity has been last week's immediate countering bullish engulfing pattern which offsets the previous week's combination of a bearish engulfing pattern with the top back then being the neckline of the big June 2021 to May 2022 reverse head and shoulders pattern, which I've highlighted in bright green. That's currently at 142 and three quarters. It was interesting how also last week prices punched down significantly through the rising long moving average, currently 122 and a half, but were not able to maintain that drop. You see, I said last week, and I quote, Below the long moving average, we really have nothing much until the late April, early May congestion based around the lesser Fibonacci lines at 104.5 and 107.5. The core of this congestion is in the 102 to 107 area. End of quote. I continued and I quote again. So with all these actions and points, it's time to look at possible targets below for the break below the ascending expanding wedge pattern. Thus, the potential target X on the downside would be in the 102 even zone, just below the late April to early May congestion. Well, this looks a little distant right now, but I am mindful that overhead we have a seemingly strong piece of congestion made up from the broken lower bull channel line, the neckline, and the middle tine. Prices would need to overcome all of those to even consider retiring target X below, but I don't deny its possibility. Not yet. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright Zeddy Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And comes the final bit.